welcome to the Miss Amanda Show. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the I-N-O of the day, Dino of the day. Today, we are going to be talking about the triceratops, which tulip is a triceratops. I wonder if we call on her, she would come. That's right. You guys remember how to call her? Tula. Say it louder, guys. Tula. A little louder. Tula. Tula. Hi, Tula. Today we're going to be talking about you. Oh, don't be shy. Will you read with us today? No. The viewers want you to read with us. Who do you think should read with us? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, that's a good idea. You think Delta should read with us? Can you go get Delta? Can you guys say bye to up? Tulip's going to go get Delta. Today, we are going to be reading the Triceratops. A three horn. <gasps> ah, I hear Delta. <gasps> Delta. Hi. Hey, Miss Amanda. Hi, Delta. Hi. Long time no see. Yeah, I know. Uh, Tula told me that we're uh, talking about Triceratops. We are. Oh. The three horn. Yeah, I got a joke about the Triceratops. I knew you would. All right. What did the Triceratops name her blouse making business? What did the Triceratops name her blouse making business? Do you guys know at home? I don't know. We don't know. Try Sarah's tops. Oh, oh my goodness. That's a good one. Thanks. You always have the best jokes. So, did you know anything about the Triceratops? Although that our Triceratops is shy? Um, not much really. Me either. But it's great that we have this handy dandy book from the Wilmington Public Library. Have you been getting your reading in? I know I have. I know I have. Have you guys at home been getting your reading in? That's wonderful! I can't wait to see everybody turning in their slips for the summer read prizes. And don't forget to call us up for the coloring contest because we will be announcing the winners on Monday the 20th of this month. And the only rules are you have to turn in your coloring pages by the 20th and do the best job that you can because everybody's a winner. Is that right? Yeah. Are you doing the coloring contest? Um, I can if, you, if I'm the right age. Well, we have littles, middles, and teens. Oh, maybe I'll do the team one. I think so. Mm -mm. And after we read about the Triceratops, we're going to be reading about the Dinosaur Train. Dinosaur Train. Welcome to Junior Conductors Academy. Yeah. Woo -hoo. You know, Archie's been reading a lot of Dinosaur Train. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I dropped my book. Sorry. 
So let's get into it, shall we? Triceratops. What was Triceratops? And how you enunciate it is Triceratops. Kind of like your joke. Yeah. Triceratops. Was a dinosaur that lived long ago. Its name means three horned face. Just look at that face. Triceratops has the perfect name. I did not know that. All these dinosaur names sure do have a lot of meanings. Yeah. What did the Triceratops look like? Triceratops was a big, chunky dinosaur. It weighed more than 250 first grade children. That's a lot. It had tough skin. It stood on four sturdy legs. It had thick, heavy tail. Holy moly. It's like the cow of dinosaurs. Yeah. Did you know a female dinosaur is called a cow? Oh, that's a fun fact. Yeah. I wonder if their babies are called calves. I don't know. Me neither. Triceratops had a gigantic head. It had a hard beak instead of lips. That's a lot of chapstick. Yeah. I use a lot. I know that. Uh-huh. It had only one horn on its snout. It had two bigger horns above its eyes. The back of the head spread out like a shield. That shield is called a frill. Triceratops had no teeth in the front of his mouth. It had many teeth farther back. Triceratops ate tough plants. It clipped off branches with its beak. Its teeth shredded everything. Mmm, kind of scary. Oh, I know. I mean, I mean, just look at this. Yeah. I wouldn't want to be running into a Triceratops. Unless it was Sarah from Land Before Time. Which, that movie is great. And is it at the library? You can find it at the library. You can find everything at the library. Yeah, all I know is a good thing to up is shy. Because <laughs> you like to be here, huh? Yeah. And you don't want to get on Tulip's bad side, huh? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. How did Triceratops spend its time? Triceratops did not spend much time alone. Instead, it stayed with its herd. Together, the dinosaurs looked for food and water. They stopped to eat and sleep. They also stopped to lay eggs. Babies hatched and grew up in the herd. They felt safe with all the bigger triceratops around. Wow, there have been so many dinosaurs that stay in herds. I know, I fly in a pack. You do? Yeah, with my family. Aww. I kind of, I guess as humans, we want to stay with our family too, so we could be human packs. Yeah. But I know that the Velociraptor was in packs, and the Triceratops was in a pack. The T-Rex is not in a pack. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What if another dinosaur attacked? Triceratops was not a fierce predator. It did not look for flight fights, but if another dinosaur attacked, it was ready. So, they were big, and they were strong, and they weren't fighters. But if somebody were to come and get them, they'd be ready. Triceratops would turn a face, it turned and face its enemy. The frill made Triceratops look huge and scary. Then Triceratops may have stomped its feet and snorted. 
others in the herd might have joined in. That should have frightened any predator away. If not, Triceratops had one last trick. It could ram an attacker with its horns. Could you imagine Tua being mad? Mm -mm. No, Tua's too shy to be mad. Yeah. We sure are learning a lot about our Tua. Mm-hmm. How do we know about Triceratops? Triceratops lived millions of years ago. Some of its fossils are still around. Scientists have found its bones and teeth. They have found its bone beds. They are placed with many Triceratops skeletons together. That is a big dig right there, if you can see. It's pretty interesting that the Triceratops bone, the Triceratops, when they knew that they were dying, they would lay down in a bed and then they would all be together. Mm -hmm. The bone beds help scientists learn more about what the Triceratops life was like. Because of the fossils found there, we know how Triceratops lived and what they ate. And I know that you like fish. Yeah, I love me some good fish. Where have Triceratops bones been found? They've been found in, in Canada, Montana, Wow, North Dakota, South Dakota, Wyoming, Colorado. What? That's all the U.S. That is. I was sure it'd be China or something. Yeah. I'm so glad I had this book from the Wilmington Public Library to teach us all about the Triceratops. Mm-hmm. It was a great book. Yeah. Tula now will know all about her. No wonder why she likes to plant flowers because you put flowers in beds and Triceratops likes beds. Yeah. Makes sense. Now let's get on to our last book. Wait, um, wait, wait, wait. Okay, okay. Let me, let me tell another joke. Yay! All right. What does a Triceratops sit on? What does a Triceratops sit on? Well, gee, Delta, I don't know. It's Triceratops. <gasps> oh, it's Triceratops. <laughs> that was so good. Welcome to Junior Conductors Academy. Archie loves the dinosaur train. Yeah, he does. Oh, are you tired? Yeah, I'm getting sleepy. These books make me put you to sleep, huh? Mm-hmm. That's another good thing for our PJ story time. Maybe you guys should come to it next time. Yeah. You'd fall right asleep with those books. The Oops. It was a very exciting day for Pettida and family. They had traveled. They had traveled where Buddy, Tiny, Shiny, and Don would take a course at the Junior Conductors Academy with Mr. Conductor and his nephew Gilbert. We're going to teach them how to become Junior Conductors First Class. Ooh, spicy. I want to be a Junior Conductor. I would love to go on that train. Me too. The trainees sang along with Gilbert and marched into the academy. It was time to learn the dinosaurs' names, species, and interesting features. Buddy was particularly excited. He loved learning about dinosaurs. He was a dinosaur information superstar. Inside, they saw their friends, Orin and Oli, and met Dennis, the dino-churios. 
who loved information about dinosaurs too. Buddy's day just kept getting better and better. Later, Mr. Conductor asked questions. Buddy knew all the answers and raised his hand. But each time, Dennis was faster and answered first. Hmm. I don't like when that happens. Yeah. Get a little frustrated. Can't always be smart, though. Yeah. But he felt bad. He was so disappointed to love information like he did and attend the junior, junior Conductors Academy, only to find out someone was faster than he was at reporting his knowledge. Still, when Tiny saw Dennis sitting alone at lunchtime, she encouraged Buddy to ask Dennis to join them. At first, Dennis just wanted to recite more information about dinosaurs. Eventually, he asked Buddy to be his friend. Buddy said, yes. That was very nice of him. Yeah. It's good to make friends. It's super good to make friends. Friends? everywhere. After lunch, everyone hopped aboard the miniature, di miniature dinosaur train. Along the way, the students faced challenges that tested what they learned. They'd get to work together, too. Oh, I love working together. I love partners. Mm -hmm. It's a lot better to have partners and work together and make fun. So, instead of learning alone. Yeah. I love learning with you. Me too. Everyone was having fun. Except for Dennis. He found the challenges too noisy, so he covered his ears. At the next stop, Mr. Conductor and Gilbert demonstrated how to be kind when helping dinosaurs on the train. Then the train was paired up. One would pretend to be the, a conductor while the other acted like a passenger. When it was Dennis and Bunny's tur Buddy's turn, Dennis just recited more dinosaur information. Buddy gave him some hints. Say hello, be friendly and polite, and help the passengers have a good time, Buddy told Dennis. Dennis tried again. He was much more relaxed, thanks to Buddy's support. Great job, Dennis, said Buddy. Wow. They really do help each other out great. Mm-hmm. It's always good to help others. It really is always good to help others. And just remember, if your siblings are having a hard time with toys or puzzles or art, don't get frustrated with them. Just help them. Like Buddy helps Dennis. Yeah. At the last challenge, Dennis joined in. With Buddy's help, together the trainees solved a very tricky riddle. As the sun set, they all headed back to the academy. The course was over. A thrilled Mr. Conductor handed out the Junior Conductor's first class pins. I'm so proud of all of you, he said. Everyone cheered. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. The end. And at the end of this book, if you rent it from the Wilmington Public Library, you can read about all the dinosaurs at the end of the book. These books are very informative. Mm -hmm. Buddy is a good student. He is also a great friend. He recognized how much he shared in common with Dennis. But he had also understood that like the diverse dinosaurs they studied, he and his new friend were also different from each other. It was very important to be nice and do what he could to help Dennis 
have a good time, just like a dinosaur train conductor. You know, Delta, me and you are very different. Yeah. But that doesn't make us any less much friends, does it? No. It's okay to be different. Everybody's different. Yeah. And I think that may, that's what makes the world go round, being different. Because if we were all the same, I think it would be really boring. Yeah, it would. Just like our Triceratops. She has three horns, you have wings, I have two legs, but we all love each other. Yeah. Well, I think this is the end. Yeah. I'm pretty sleepy. I think I'm going to take a nap. I think you should take a nap, too. I'm going to get some food. Kind of hungry. Kind of hungry? Yeah. Oh, Delta. Thank Goodbye, you. Goodbye, Miss Amanda. Have a good flight home. Yeah. Um, bye. Woo! Everybody say bye, Delta. Woo! That was a good book today about dinosaur train and the triceratops. I hope all of you know that you can find these books at the Wilmington Public Library. You can find anything at the Wilmington Public Library. Until next time, for our D-I-N-O of the day. And how do we say goodbye in sign language? That's right. Bye.